Congresswoman Salazar, let's Correct. talk about something else. And that is, this is an important time because curriculum is being formulated for next year. At which time, Governor Ron DeSantis has been out of his way to say CRT, critical race theory, will not be taught. But he didn't stop there. Listen. We have uh, a number of people in, in Florida, particularly southern Florida, who've escaped uh, totalitarian regimes, who've escaped communist dictatorships um, to be able to come to America. Uh, we want all students to understand the difference. Why would somebody flee uh, across shark-infested waters, say, leaving from Cuba to come to southern Florida? So he, uh, he understands that maybe this story, teaching the evils of communism and Marxism, matters to people like you. Why? Absolutely. And you know, bravo. Every single governor in this country should follow suit what DeSantis is doing. Because the problem that we have here is that half of our teenagers, according to the latest uh, survey, believe that communism or socialism is good. And most of them don't know what's the difference between the Declaration of Independence and the Communist Manifesto. You see, I am the daughter of political refugees. Everyone that I, that I know that surrounds me in my district understands what DeSantis is saying. It's oppression, it's exile, it's, it's death. And our kids, right. that the American-born kids, don't know what that means. So it's time for us to teach them that Che Guevara, Fidel Castro, Chavez, those people are murderers. But what also is important, too, in most people's background, you know, you do read Mein Kampf in school. It doesn't mean that you like Hitler or a Nazi. You read about uh, these people because you want to be exposed to it. You don't want to be shut off from it. Where do you draw the line between reading about these evil people in history and at the same time uh, learning what not to do? Well, you draw the line is that you give them the empirical evidence. You explain what Madison and Jefferson and Washington did, and you also explain with, uh, with no, uh, uh, without whitewashing what Che did. You know, let me just give you a little example. Che Guevara, when he invaded Cuba, you know what they would do? They would conduct, uh, they would kill you on the firing squad, and then after that, they would conduct a trial. So they kill you first, and then they did trial after. Most people don't know. They think that Che, oh my God, Che is the best. He is going to come and liberate us. And, and it's all a lie. And then that's what very concerning, that we're not teaching our, shil our children right. the reality of what they did. But what it just shows parents so got to get— all we have to do— Is, is get involved mm, with this Board of all Education. All we have to do is just show— I'm, I, Excuse me, I, I, was, I, I didn't ahead. hear you. What were you asking me? I was just saying, no, get involved with your board that, of education, it, too, right? What, get involved, but at the same time, make sure that we are not whitewashing socialism. Unfortunately, in this country, socialism and democratic socialism, and I encounter many of my colleagues on the other side, on the floor of the United States Congress, really believing that this is the way to go. That the American philosophy, culture, and the American history, uh, it's evil, that we are a horrible nation, and the other side, yep. you know, Stalin and Fidel, those are the good guys. Those are the ones that will bring equality, will bring, uh, will bring happiness to everyone. That's yep. a lie. That's Absolutely. not true. So we got to teach it the way it is. Right. You're not going to have the problem. And parents you're not gonna have will the, decide. Right. You're not going to have that problem in Florida, thanks to your governor. Uh, thanks, Congressman. Appreciate it. But I want it. I want the rest of the United Nations and the United States to understand that the American exceptionality works for everyone, from California to Florida. Right. That's why we're on, in Congress trying to maintain gotcha. the American agenda, which is the only one that really works. Absolutely. You know what? We in Cuba or in Venezuela, we would have loved to have a Madison or a Jefferson, not a Fidel, a Chavez, or a H.A. Absolutely. And the first thing they did is took their guns and, the, and, and took the power from the people. Congresswoman, thanks so much. Thank you. Look you what's it. happening in Nicaragua right now. That's Absolutely. socialism, what's happening in Nicaragua. And they're right, fleeing like the, like the Santis. I'm sorry. I would, I would speak until I know tomorrow. You're, Thank I, know, you. I know you're pumped up. Uh, thanks so much. Appreciate it.